First of all, good morning to everyone and thank you for coming today. And thank you, Jodi, for this question because as a wellness uh, coach and a love to do works, but I never ever thought how I can think about AI in a wellness program. So I think this question gave me the ability to do a bit of research, understand and see how I can question, answer this question. So human touch, right? All of us know that without the human touch, especially targeting the emotions and the mindfulness of an individual can only come when there's a human touch. For example, I'm a laugh to you guys. If I tell you guys, let's do laughter for a minute. That's a human touch. But the technology, when it comes to saying that, okay, not love. How do you love? That was the question that comes. So when it comes to challenge, I think about a human connection between an era and with that. There's a huge gap which I see. Second thing is work life balance. And today, especially after the COVID, we've seen that all of us are working. I mean, the hybrid work is done, as well as some companies have given you the option of working from home. Right? What we see is that we are actually working throughout the day. It's never the week. But if you have a human connection, what will happen is that, yes, there is a tool through which we can function through our AI technology. But if we, if, if we accommodate a break while we are working, what will happen? You will have time, you will be able to balance out work as well as your know, personal culture. So I see that these challenges will affect a connection between an AI and a workplace balance. So the third thing, technology. Of course, everybody knows that today technology is going up the ladder, and especially after the COVID, there has been a huge transition. So, certainly, technology is a tool which everybody is looking. You have apps which makes us comfortable now the space. But when it comes to wellness or wellness programs, it gives you a different chunk of work together. Right? There is a human connection. So again, there is a workplace balance. So I think uh, the truth is that it's very important to differentiate an AI. I think AI cannot replace a human, but AI suddenly can be a tool to be used for humans to take over and come as a group rather than we as a uh, to replace them. Thank you. So firstly, wellness, what are wellness programs, right? I mean, there are so many types of wellness programs. And if AI come as a partner with the wellness program, then it's a magic. So how do you think? I mean, to be honest, I look at AI as an app, as a tool, as a technology, which can probably help anybody who is Delivering a wellness program. So, for to give you an example, say that Jane come to a session where you had a love to yoga session. You had an amazing love to yoga session. By the way, love to yoga is a technique of laughing with some breathing exercise just to enhance what's love to yoga. So, now you come, you are attending the session, and you've gone back. And you say, Oh, I had a wonderful session, that's it, right? But if you have AI as a tool, and imagine you have an app, like how you have the iPhone, right? And we have some kind of an app where it watch, where the watch tells you, oh, you have walked so many steps, right? And imagine you have an app which tells you, you know what? The stress level has gone up. You need to take a break. Or you you will say, oh, stress level looks like very long. Okay, let me take a break. You we'll probably stop for a minute, you we'll walk around, you we'll do a bit of the stretching, you we'll come back and we'll sit. Now you see your stretch level is actually falling down. What happens? Now AI is using this I tool which we are using is helping us become better and better. So I see again coming back to the same point that AI can be not a replacement of the human. But rather, AI can be a tool which you can use to enhance and get better, not just with the mindset, but also the giving you a holistic approach. You know? And I think if all the wellness programs 
I use to an AI tool. I am looking at you. I'm, I'm looking at it from the bigger picture, you know. That today is I start with this AI app and give it to every one of you guys. I can do a laugh and roll session in the lesson and where I am. You know, I can tell you guys, you know, these are the customized plans. Of laughter yoga. Now, laughter yoga is a certain exercise. See what's coming? You don't like this laughter yoga exercise. But you will be looking at the tool and say, you know what? There are different variations of it. So the AI tool will actually help depending on your mood, your energy. And we'll try and give you what this exercise will be good at this point of hour. So AI can do wonders, definitely. It's just that you as humans or as we as humans need to incorporate into a wellness program in such a way that AI too becomes a state for a human. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Pranali. Um, your energy is really infectious and I like to see how you're going to be able to use this app while you take this to the market for all people that you're not using the kind of possible clothes that's my vision. I'm glad to add your uh, we just feel we start by attending an HR conference in Dubai and uh, you know, we always talk about awareness, we talk about CSR activities, we talk about the HR activities, resources, how things are evolving around. I just want to share this because the topic has come. Uh, the spirit of which I learned and I thought it's going to be great to share with everyone is that today HR is also evolving. HR doesn't anymore go up looking at a resume of a person when they are hiding. In fact, they are more looking into how the human conditions, how is the person looking from his or maybe talking from his mindset. You know, because there was an example which was shared with all of us that there was an, there was an employee who came for an interview. Okay, his resume is in his tablet, he has all the skills there, everything. But when the questions were asked about mindset, how is this ethical? How is he able to handle stress? Still, he's hundred when it came to his emotions and psychologically, he was zero. So now the question is, how do you hire somebody who has hundred percent skills but is not able to deliver or is not able to manage himself? So that's where AI tools are being used. Yes, they are hiding skills, but they are also monitoring how the emotions, the mindset and the psychological behavior can be monitored and how the HR is helping every employee to up his or her game in terms of mindset. So, you know, it is evolving and I think it's a wonderful tool. Yes, of course it's risk, right, because at the end of the day you are feeling in data. Right? Who sees in the data? Humans. So, if human mindset and his or her psychological behavior is taken care of, I think there can be a win-win situation for the company.